Hi everyone, it's Eddie Zaratzian. I'm shooting another episode on YouTube for you. In this episode, I'm gonna do a Halloween tablescape. Um, these are some of the things that I have and some, from some stuff that I've sourced for you, which is gonna be really simple, fun, and clever to do. It's not gonna take a little bit of time. I've actually layered this many, many, many different ways. Um, I've got some plastic uh, skulls. I've got some glass skulls that happen to be from my inventory. Um, I've got some skeleton hands. Um, some, is this a spider? Spider. And I've got some resin products that are really, really cute. I bought this fabric from a craft supply uh, source, but it's got like roses and skulls on it, which I really love. I've got my black silk roses. I've got some old fashioned um, uh, medicine jars. And then I've got some silver chargers. Um, I've taken a black tablecloth as my base. And now I'm gonna layer it. I'm gonna push things aside and start layering the table. This is gonna be really fast. It's gonna be really simple. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be fun and, and gorgeous at the same time. If this is the first time you're watching me and you suddenly happen to discover my YouTube channel, I am very fortunate that you have and I hope you continue to watch and all my past subscribers and audience that have been a tremendous support to me. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you're doing really well. So basically, it's probably about eight yards and I'm not gonna sew anything. What I'm gonna do is kind of puddle it and make a runner out of it. Instead of a straight runner, it's all puddles of fabric. The cool thing is from far away, you can't tell what it is until you get to the tablescape. And that's the fun part of tablescapes is seeing how all the different elements kind of work together. I'll move this over a little bit. I'm gonna start from the center and then work my way out. So I have this poly resin, which has kind of a, a, a jar, a potion jar, like a, uh, on top of a book with skulls on it. I'm gonna start this in the middle. And then this, I have this faux silk arrangement that I've prepared before. And then I've got my skulls, the glass skulls, kind of doing the same thing on each side. And I've gone from tall to lower. like this. I'm not gonna fill it up with anything. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. All right. And then I'm gonna take my skulls. I'm going to kind of layer them in between. I don't wanna see the, the seams, so I'm gonna tuck them in. I like this. Really cool, right? Then I have my spiders, my gold spiders. And I'm just kind of lay this on top like this. You see how layered it is? Very simple to do, very fast to do. It's all about preparation and making sure you have enough on the table depending on what your size is. I'm gonna cut these. This is a garland. And of course you can use it as a garland. And we could have done that in the backdrop. As you can see in the previous episodes, I did a Halloween wreath and also indoor Halloween decorations that can be actually used outside as well. And pull this apart. And the great thing is you just take this out and it's all gonna come apart. Now, you could put candles around here. You can put out LED battery operated candle, candles as well. You can do tapers, black tapers. You can also do black um, candle uh, holders with red. If you wanna incorporate red and when it's dripping, it's gonna feel like blood. But for this video, my choices were the metallics, 
the whites, the grays, and the blacks. I'm gonna throw this away. I'm gonna take my chargers. I have silver chargers here. I'm just gonna do three here. And of course you have to have them completely. I'm not doing any glassware, I'm not doing any napkins. I'm just kind of showing you kind of the process of it. But the cool thing is, I want to put the hands, the skeleton hands, as kind of a little detail on the place setting, which I think is really cool. And then my finishing touches are going to be the silk roses. I'm going to take like two or three in here. I'm going to put it right here. And you can play around with your roses. I'm gonna put two or three in the large one as well. And then I'm going to take two. And one. I'm gonna bend this a little bit. Like this. And continue to do this. I've got some leftovers I can always certainly add to whatever I have. And take these three, bend the bottom, and then tuck it in. Now, if you don't have black roses or you can't get black roses, you can definitely spray paint them. It's just going to take a little bit more time and effort to do that. So I prefer you just get what you can. And look how cool this looks, right? This looks so amazing right now. So obviously you can see how this came together so well, so beautifully. We used only a very few elements. I've got some chargers. I've got the details of the skeleton hand. I've got the skulls is the main theme because it carries through the, the skeleton, right? The skulls, the skeleton is the main theme. And then obviously we built on it with black accents some gold and some silvers, just to kind of balance it off and to, to brighten up the black because otherwise it's gonna just look really flat. This way it's more interesting, especially when you have candles and things are flickering and the metallics pick up on that. It just looks more uh, richer and more elegant as you go. Um, my advice is, you know, if you don't have jars like this and you can't find it, uh, you can use any kind of jar and you can even make your own labels. Um, and this is pr pretty much it. I mean, you can take this idea and embellish it the way you want to. I just wanted to show you my version of what I kind of dream up. Again, I thank you for joining me for another YouTube episode. Make sure you follow me on all social media and it's all right here. And I thank you one more time. Peace out, everyone.